Welcome to City Bricks. This is our 12th weekly upload, Improving the Lego City. So if you'd like to see how it transforms, make sure to subscribe, as well as leave any suggestions or questions down below. This week, we're gonna take a closer look at some of the underground scenes, as well as my hotel mock I've been working on. We're also gonna do some Lego shopping. So make sure to stick around. Let's start it off by taking a closer look at this mountain. Last week, I ordered about 200 dark gray slopes in various sizes and luckily they were on the best seller so they arrived in a few days unfortunately it only covered a small portion of the mountain you can see where it stops and i really like how the detail came out but i'm probably going to need like two four six eight ten probably at least a thousand more slopes to cover this and so i think ordering from bricklink might be a better idea and save me some money now I am basically out of all dark gray slopes, but I do have a bunch of light gray slopes. And I was able to make this rock face kind of covering up the support system to the mountain. I really like how it turned out. I used some snot techniques as well as probably put 200 slopes in there. Let me know how you like it down below. We've also been working on the underground scene and I was able to cover up the support with some masonry bricks. I also added a blinking light, a few scenes in here, and then faced the minifigs towards me. I also added a retaining wall because in the future I'd like to put water right here. I'm just waiting on a few of the, um, the trans blue pieces to come in. And then we have this hotel mock I've been working on. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's too tall or looks too repetitive. I might be able to take a floor out. Just let me know what you think down below. And then I'm not done with working on the roof as well as the balcony. Cause I was thinking about putting a bal or a pool in the balcony, but I'm just not sure. Cause I think it might hang a little bit too low. And then I've also been working on this road. I kind of want to make it like a T junction and then have it lead all the way back. And I plan on putting like a, I think a VIP section or maybe a bar or a club in the back. And then as far as this underground scene, I was thinking of actually leaving like the first eight studs open for like a sidewalk and then putting some storefronts in the back. Maybe extending the theater just a little bit. And then also having an entrance right here so you could like walk up there and shop. I am gonna be heading to the Lego store today. I am on the lookout for their pick a brick wall, always looking for tiles or brown pieces or even dark gray slopes. That would be amazing. Um, I need the brown pieces because I'm thinking of doing like a ranger's uh, lodge over here and kind of having it like slope down and then putting maybe like a little deck or porch going around it. And then kind of, that'll be the transition into the forestry area. I'm also going to be picking up some base plates while I'm there. That way I can kind of get a little layout of what this area is going to look like. Hopefully they have something on the wall. I'll show you what I get. Well, I'm back from the Lego store and they really didn't have too much. I did get some cups and just fill them with a bunch of random pieces. Well, this one's the most random. But then mainly try to fill up on like bricks, one by anything, and also a bunch of plate. And then just filled it in with like some purple cheese wedges. They did have a set. I figured this would look pretty good in the city. At least the car of it and then those minifigures. And then we did get some base plates as well. I really didn't find any brown or dark gray. Any bricks. So I'm going to have to place an order on Bricklink. So I really am wishing I did stack more plate because all of this plate fit in those two cups and those two cups are still half full so i really wish i spent some more time packing instead of them looking like this but i did get a lot of plate so i'm happy about that and i do think that's where i'm going to wrap it up this week we did get a lot done and if you like what you saw make sure to subscribe for more if you have any questions or suggestions leave them down below and have a great week